stealth roll. So that's going to be uh, dex based. Uh oh. So D20 right. plus dex, right? Yep. Oh, that's, a, uh, that's a three. Uh, I rolled an 11. Oh, natural 20 plus two. Hey! Nice. I rolled that's a natural 20 of the night. Who rolled the two? Oh, <laughs> good job! <laughs> Celeste, nice. as you go to walk out the room, you trip on some of the leftover cage. However, because... Um, who's next to you? Uh, because... Um, uh, Karn is following you. Karn, I can give you the opportunity to try and catch Celeste as to not make a, a massive terrific noise. So I want you to make a dex saving throw. Right. To just catch her to stop her making noise. That's just a d20 roll. d20 right. plus dex. Plus, plus your proficiency fire. if you're a proficient in dex saving throws. I am not. I roll an 8. Okay. So you go to lunge her and you kind of you, you grab her but she kind of pulls you down with her but you, you muffle-ish the noise as you fall down together. You don't think anyone heard you, but you're not sure. Hopefully the party is going swimmingly enough that nobody noticed the sounds of a few twigs breaking. Right. Basically, I'm like... You and the hooker can sneak along with the two creepers that are actually trying to sneak, make it all go. They're like... She said! She said! She said! Okay, so uh, Cyrus, as you get to this opening... What you see is a series, is, is, a, is a fairly large expansive room, if I use the right damn pen, uh, in which there are just a bunch of camp beds. Okay, this is, this must be where the goblins sleep when they're, whenever they're off duty. There are a few goblins taking up residence in the beds, all passed out. There's a fairly heavy stench of goblin sweat and piss booze as well. It's it's quite offensive to the nose, especially to the advanced noses of the elves in the room. Yes. Karn probably can't smell anything after years after the years he spent where he spent them, shall we say? Um, no, no, I can't smell anything. Yeah. So, um, that's... that's no, you, you do well, not see your stuff. It smells like something in here, but I'm gonna just say that's not my fetish. <laughs> that's fair. I'm gonna pull them up there just a little. I roll my eyes so hard they're almost in the back of my head. <laughs> I'm still impatiently looking around for booze. I'm gonna pull this down a little bit more so you can see the edge of the room I drew. Okay, so in the room you can just about make out that there are two exits. One on the far end and one on the right. Uh, and how many of them can I count roughly sleeping? Uh, there's like, uh, let's say there's four of them. And I will put them on the map for you in a moment. So let's say there's one in a bed here, one in a bed here, let's have one over here, and we'll reuse the old one. Oop, it's falling away. Another one just rolled off the bed. That's cool. There's four of them and four of us, we could choke them out. Yeah, well, I was gonna say, these are... These nasty little assholes like yep. two women You could in try and sneak through here. here. You could have a look at the other rooms before you decide where you're gonna commit yourself. Up to you guys. Recommend okay. that I not stealth in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> could I cast my unseen servant and have them go run around and check out the rest of the places? Ooh. We have a thinker in the group, gentlemen. We could do Ooh. that. Okay, so what would you like the Unseen Servant to do? What's your first command? I want him to go through the door to the right, and I want him to tell me what's through there. Okay, so your servant goes through the door to the right, and he returns. Yep. He goes, My lady, inside the door is an assortment of collected weapons and armor, some of which I recognize as yours, the piles of the stuff, mostly rustly and damaged, but it is a room full of equipment, my lady. Anything else I Thank can do for you? No, that's good for now. I think we should sneak by these goblins, go get the equipment, and come back and murder them in their sleep. I my agree with this sentiment. This is a this is a good idea. Okay, so are you heading back this way? Wherever the unseen servant saw our armor, that is the direction the I need to, right. to walk in. Yeah, that's the door yep, over yep. here. Yeah. Okay, so you move oh. back along this way. And then you get to the first opening, and as you peek around, uh, let's draw this one out for you as well. Um, as I can 
and sort my map. This room is uh, approximately as large as the last. This room is filled with tables and me the merriment of drunken goblins. Uh, let's see how big the room is. Unseen turn, are you kidding me? Then we'll draw it all the way down here. So on the left turn, you've got a little bar here. You've got some tables. And then I've run out of red counters, so we'll use a different color. But there are more goblins that are awake here, dancing and singing Wait, and merrymaking. Thurman have told me about that. Well, you I only asked you him know. to tell you about the room on the right with the door. You didn't tell him to do anything to do with this room here. Oh, oh, okay, good, good, good. So that's Unseen not their Servants are uh, very specific in the orders they take. Okay, so uh, you're going to try and sneak past them. Well, what do you guys think we should do at this point? Because uh, I, I might have messed this up a little bit. Hmm. I think our only choice is to sneak. I mean, they are drunk, and we're regrettably sober, so we could try to rough them up. I am... Um... Without my equipment, I am less than useless. Grath and I are stocky, brawly types. They're all drunk or sober. We might easy, be able easy. to take them. I, uh, I go get them while you get your stuff. That's pretty much how that rolls. I accompany Graf the promise of booze. Or I guess, uh, Cyrus. My apologies. So All to right. be clear... I'll protect you. To so, be clear, yeah. So to be clear, are we going... Are we splitting the party in half in the room, half getting the stuff? Or, or what's going on? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm taking... The party. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're useless without your stuff, right? I know, but we can all go get our things, because I'm sure our cleric here cannot heal without this holy symbol. Anyway. Wait, well, that is fair. Yeah, we do. The, the, the drunken dwarf is technically a cleric. Wow. Well, hope you're good at your job. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, after 130 years of alcoholism, it's anybody's guess. I mean, what are the chances of us sneaking past the doorway without being seen? Um, like, the uh, goblins are quite obviously very, very pissed. Like, they're like wrestling and grabbing more drinks. They're singing to each other. Like, it's it's not going to be hard to sneak past them. You have a different definition of piss than me. <laughs> oh. All right, I mean, so they're well, not on the floor unconscious yet, but they are well on the way. Okay, so they look pretty drunk. So I, see, I feel like that would be... That would make it easier for me to just kill them all. But whatever, let's go get my it, stuff. Go get it the will. It would be even more easier to do so with our... Okay. So yeah, I, get... I really want my... Uh, my, my all your shit... Back. Okay, yeah, so uh, let's make some stealth rolls. All you have to do is beat a five. Get a five or better, and you manage to sneak past. Uh, okay. yes. Ten. Ten. Oh, God. Seven. Okay, we're good, we're good. We're oh. Five. Oh, my God. Did anybody shit the bed? Wait, I'm also proficient in stealth, so actually nine. Nice. You're fine. I, Just I barely Cyrus? made it past in my case. Cyrus? Yeah, no, I'm totally fine. Okay, cool. I rolled a 10. You'll sneak into this room, and you and you see littered around different parts of your own equipment. So you, you spend a minute or two gathering it all together, putting your armor on, putting your equipment in its place. Um, do you search through the rest of the equipment to see if there's anything valuable or Absolutely. interesting there? Absolutely. Okay, are we doing like a really, really quick check, or are you taking your time and really going through it? I feel like we have time. It's time. What do you guys think? That's time they're drinking. Okay, if you're going like to take your time. Minutes. Uh, sure. I'm gonna watch the door. I'm gonna stand in front of the door. Okay. So what do we need to roll? Uh, investigation. <laughs> so, you've got Cyrus in front of the door, you got these guys checking out the loot. Right. I got a 12 <coughs> for my I investigation. got an 18. Rolled a 5 again. Ooh, lovely. So, Celeste, you, searching through a pile of really old, rusty swords, you find at the bottom, very bottom of the pile, is this dusty but ornately engraved scabbard, inside which is a silvered uh, handle to a sword with a red gem in its pommel. And as you slide it out, it glides out silently to reveal a beautifully carved, carved silver blade with um, uh, right it is inscription of it in celestial. Does anybody speak celestial? Oh, I think I do. I do. Dude, <laughs> I the 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 inscription says, "I am 
zombie. And the moment you pull it from the scabbard, you hear a voice in your head and goes, Hello! I'm zombie! <laughs> okay. So awfully lovely to see you here. So without um, talking out loud so that they don't think I'm crazy, I speak inside my mind and say, I'm sorry, and your purpose here is what? I was on the way to solve a quest with my master, but unfortunately he was raided by goblins. And we got separated. Very terrible to do. That's awesome. I like Is your... And then I, I ask again in my mind, do you know if your master lives? Oh, he's a strapping young gentleman. Lovely. We were on our way to the northern mountains to solve a quarrel with the giants. Apparently it was a right terrible affair. There's a chance I may be able to return you to your master, if that is what you so seek. Splendiferous, my dear. Let us be off. I am allowed to use you in the meantime? Of course, but only... To save those in great need, to defeat the evils of the world. You must never use me against one who has not deserved it. How do you define evil? Those who prey upon the innocent, who cause chaos and remove order from this world, who do not act in the way of Bahamut. Perhaps then I am not your man. And I walk over to the dwarf and paladin, and I say, A lawful good sword for either of you. It yeah. speaks. It's not exactly pleasant. Do you guys believe that she's got a talking sword? Because, like, as far as you guys know, talking sword, what the fuck? I mean, <laughs> I've had more than my fair share of swords talk to me over the last uh, few decades. Or so. <laughs> I would imagine. So, did you grab hold of it? Yeah, I grab hold of it, why not? Hello! I'm oh, Zombie! I blurt out, what the hell is this? I was talking to your elven friend, apparently you maybe helped me to find my master, Saint Leora. I, I can't stand your voice, I am pretty sure that I am not your master. No, you are not, but if you'd help me to find my way to him, the order to which he has given himself and myself, would be most grateful. That depends. Can you put up with alcoholism? <laughs> Alcohol is a disease, a plague upon mankind, but I'm sure I'll be able to help you resist its temptation. I throw the sword in the ground and scream, get the hell out of here. <laughs> I look I look to the dwarf and I say, quiet! <laughs> I tell you, do you have any idea what he just said to me? It is not relevant. Quiet. He said that alcohol is a disease. I mean, if it's a disease, perhaps it's a disease that I want. It is a lawful good sword. It wants you to not slay those it deems good. I say let Cyrus have it. Yeah, I'll pick up the sword. Ah, oh, a paladin like my master. Yeah, maybe, like your master. Would you be so kind as to return me to him? His order would be most grateful and generous on my return. I am an heirloom. Have I ever heard of him? Uh, it's the Order of Bahamut. You can make a religion or history role, whichever you're better at, to figure out you know, uh, who they are. What was the name of the sword? Uh, they're both the Jean-Bain. Streamers can see the chat. There's a chat. They're just busy with a sword with a very irritating voice. <laughs> I roll a six. So never, <laughs> never heard of them. <laughs> why? Why um, would you? Argue? I will do a history check. Okay. Order. Uh, wow. <laughs> uh, 19, 20, 21, nice. 22, 23. So the Order of Bahamut is the order who worship the. Uh, leader of the uh, metallic dragons, which is Bahamut, the great platinum dragon who lives in uh, Celestia, 
uh, on Mount Celestia in his uh, Eternal Palace. Um, they do not have a specific home, they are a nomadic order, they generally go where they are requested or where they are led to 